Hey, what's going on everybody? MJ Rookie here, bringing you a different kind of video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a vector image to put into Rockstar's Social Club uh, image editor. So when you go into the emblem editor, it usually brings up, you know, this canvas-like thing. And you can only use shapes and such. Well, I'm going to tell you how to input your own images and use that for crew emblems. For the sake of time, I've already downloaded my image. The image must be a PNG and must be 512 by 512. Now, you can use a Photoshop or an image converter to turn them into PNG as well as resize it for yourself. Um, I'll quite possibly leave links in the description. You'll also need Notepad Plus for this project, and that will help you uh, get what you need. So first thing you're going to do is download your image, like I have here, and then you're going to also come over to Vector Magic. Vector Magic is actually quite a useful site. It converts any PNG to a vector image. You'll need an account and you'll get two free uses. I honestly wouldn't buy anything. I'd just create a new email and go ahead and do that again. But, you know, they do work hard, so maybe donate some money to them. Anyways, once you uh, are here, you're going to want to click Upload Image to Trace. You're going to want to select the image that you want to upload. I'll select the badge. Open. It will load for a few minutes. It will take some time. Anyways, after you have it in, it's going to do its little shindig. Uh, it's going to pretty much turn it into a vector. So everything on here is uh, going to become smooth lines and such. It's going to become clearer. Now you'll notice, even though our PNG was transparent, as you can see it's transparent here and here it has a white background now a lot of people are going oh no what do I do how do I fix this and no one really has an answer well I figured out a way once this process is done you're going to be prompted to either verify your email if you haven't uh, if you haven't just go and verify your email account and or be download what you want to download is the SVG file. Um, that is the one you want. Once you do that, we're not going to sit here and wait for that to load. Once you do that, you should have an SVG. And the SVG will usually have the Internet Explorer icon, and it'll look like this. It'll usually save with underscores if you have, ba uh, if you have spaces in there. Once you have that, you're going to want to right-click and then you're going to want to edit with Notepad++. Now once you're here, you'll notice that all of this stuff, there's a bunch of gubbins and you probably are a little confused. You'll need lines for all the way down to wherever it stops. You do not want the S slash SVG and you do not want three and up. Those, uh, those are not what you want. And right here, Usually you will see, if there's white space and such for the background, usually you'll see uh, pound f, 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 and such. And that's the hexadecimal for the white. What you want to do is type in the word none. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click that. Scroll the way down to the bottom. Hold down shift and click on the bottom one right before that and you're going to want to hit control C to copy. Once you've done that you're going to want to come and create new after clicking on that you're going to want to create new and you're going to want to choose a blank background color. Now this part some people get confused on. You're going to want to right click and inspect elements. This is where Google Chrome or Firefox is really handy. You should probably use Google Chrome or Firefox for this. I'm not sure about other browsers but those two are the most likely to be used for this. You're going to want to control F in the 
elements and type in SVG. Now up here, right above where the box is, you're going to want to click that. Edit as HTML. Click in between there. And Control V. All that information you just copied. Now click off it. And voila! You have your custom image. Now this will save quite nicely and you'll want to click the Save button and click Save. Since I already have it saved, I will not do that. Now one thing to note is that you won't want to um, keep spamming it. If it doesn't show up immediately after you've saved and published it, don't worry. It takes Rockstar's Social Club about mm, 20 to an hour. Uh, 20 minutes to an hour to actually update it. Um, so if it's if you've changed your emblem to the emblem you copied and pasted in there, it'll take some time. So be patient. Don't want to spam it, otherwise problems will ensue. Um, anyways, that was just a quick little tutorial uh, giving you guys an insight uh, for how to put in a vector image. Um, I might redo this tutorial later if it's requested uh, and I say oh, a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day.